Hey guys, so today I wanted to do a favourites video for you guys. Not like a monthly favourites, because it's the middle of December, but a current favourites, so stuff that I'm liking now. So to start us off, the books that I've really been liking now are Girl Online by Zoella, The Maze Runner by James Dashner, and I finished this book a little while ago before Maze Runner came out, and I loved it so much. I am up to the Scorch Trials, which is the second book in the series. This I'm reading Girl Online at the moment, not very far through it. Um, I'm up to chapter six, but I only got it last week, so it's really good, and I hope to enjoy the rest of it. And the book that I've just recently finished, The Queen of Zombie Hearts, by Jenna Showalter. And this book made me cry so much. It's not funny. Go and check out Jenna's books. She's a great author. And I highly recommend this series. Um, the first book is Alice in Zombieland. And then the... Um, Alice in Zombie Land, then Alice Through the Zombie Glass, and then The Queen of Zombie Hearts. And if you haven't got the gist of it already, it's obviously about zombies. <laughs> um, all the books were all from... You can get all of these books from Dimmix. Um, if you're in Australia, Dimmix is good. But I got so I got this one from Dimix, and I got these two from Kmart. Um, cause they're ch it's cheaper than Dimix, obviously. Um, I got this one in the box set with um, Scorch Trials and Death Cure. This one I don't have the other two books, but I've got them on my iPad, which is all right. But um, yeah. Go and check this out. But yeah, Girl Online Dimix if you're in Australia. So obviously these, as you can see, I'm wearing a checker. And these seem to be really in now. And so this is one of my favourites, this little choker here. It's just a piece of elastic, elastic type stuff that stretches to fit over your neck. And I've also got another one. Um, which is not stretchy, so you've got a, it's got a, one of the little necklace clips. And my nan put this on too tight for me one time, and it was really hard to breathe. But yeah, it just sits like so. And it's like, you know those mood rings that you used to get when you're a little kid? Well, it's like that, so it changes colour with body temperature to tell your mood. At the moment, it's light purple. Which I'm pretty sure was passion, but I can't remember. <laughs> Next, my sunnies. So I got these last Christmas um, off eBay for two dollars bargain. They look like this. My friends, they call me John Lennon because obviously there's other type of glasses John Lennon used to wear. They're a bit small for my head. So I don't like to wear them when my hair's up, but I really love them. <laughs> yes. The last of my accessories is a scarf. I know it's not, it's not winter anymore, so it's too hot to wear a scarf, but I really love this scarf. If you don't know, this is Tom Baker scarf from Doctor Who, and it's really good for winter. It keeps you nice and warm. Um, I used to wear it at school all the time, but I got, I'm not allowed to wear it at school, so that made me really sad. But yes, I got this from the ABC shop uh, in Melbourne. But I can't remember what shop it was. I think it was South Wharf. If that's what it's called. I can't remember. I'm not from Melbourne. 
Um, oh, one more accessory that I liked, which uh, is one of my favourites, is this necklace right here. This is a locket that my friend gave to me this year for my birthday. It's got a little pattern on the front. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, and when you open it up, it's got a picture of my friends inside. This was not the original chain, but the other chain, I like. I would have liked a longer chain and a stronger chain than the one that I had, so my friend went and bought me another one for Christmas, so birthday present and Christmas present. <laughs> yes, it's very, I like it a lot. I wore this to my formal, this necklace. Yep. Um, this choker is from Dottie. I'm pretty sure. Um, Dotty in Geelong for $7. This choker was from Colette. No, no, not Colette. It's from Lavisa in Aubrey. But I'm assuming you can get it from any Lavisa store, jewelry store. Sorry about the lighting, the sun's going behind a cloud. Um, for $12 lipstick. This is Maybelline's Superstay 14 hour lipstick in the colour Till Mauve Do Us Part which is what I'm currently wearing. Sorry about the green it's been in with some lollies. And so yep yeah. and I think this is a really pretty colour. Not for this time of season but um good long lasting it does stay for 14 hours I once slept with it and woke up and it was still perfect and yeah so I really like this lipstick next is my Vincent van Gogh perfume I don't know where this is from because I found it in my nan's bedroom and she said I could have it it smells really good and yeah, I'm really in love with it, but I don't know where I can get any more. So, sorry about that. Um, lipstick is from Coles for $19, which I think is alright, I guess. I don't really wear makeup, so yeah. yeah. Okay, so the next item I've got is this Revlon... Nutri Color Cream and it's like obviously that's a colour that I've got in my hair already. I ha I did use the live colour which is wash out hair dye and when I went to get my hair cut obviously they washed my hair so some of it came out and they put more in which is this one and I'm really loving this colour. The tube is quite big so you can use it more than once um, and it's like a it's not like a one of the live hair dyes. It's like a treatment, so you don't have to condition after it. So you shampoo your hair as normal, towel dry, put this in, leave it in for a couple of minutes, and then rinse it out. And you don't have to put conditioner in because it's like a treatment. I got this from my hairdressers for $25. So, yeah, I'm thinking you can get this from your hairdressers as well. Really good. Works. And my hair feels really nice. The next one is for skincare, and it's this Garnier Skin Naturals Pure Active 3-in-1 Wash, Scrub and Mask. This, I find, works really not well, and it makes your skin nice and soft, and um, not oily. So that's what it is. The wash um, smooths your skin and purifies to eliminate impurities. The scrub exfoliates dead skin cells and clears pores and the mask mattifies skin. And I find it works really well and it's really nice and I love to use it and I enjoy using this. It has got like beads in it so it can get a bit scratchy on your face but other than that I recommend it. I got this one from Kmart for $11. My next items are what I use to calm me down like 
to relax before I go to bed. I find them really nice. They are scented candles. I got them from, for $8 from the reject shop. Cheapskate, I know. But they smell like heaven. So first one here is vanilla cupcakes. This one's my favourite by far. Um, yeah, vanilla cupcakes. The next one is this one. This one I don't really like when it's blown out. The other ones smell really nice, but this one is, smells disgusting when, when it's been blown out. Um, it is strawberry shortcake. The next one is cinnamon buns. And the wick is starting to break. Please don't. And the last one is warm apple pie. This one smells alright, but it's gone really funky inside, so I don't know what. I need like a new wick or like I need to fix that. I don't know how to though. But yeah, $8 from the reject shop if you live in Australia. They smell like heaven. You can also get coffee ones, which I don't have. Um, but apparently they smell really good. But yeah, I really recommend these if you just want to like relax, light. I wouldn't recommend lighting them all at the same time because they don't smell too good when they're all lit. But just like if you want to lie there with one scented candle going, lanterns in the dark, nice calming and relaxing. I recommend that. So this one is our hessian bag that has been made into a nice, you know, over the shoulder strap bag. Would I don't know what you'd call it. It's a cute little elephant on the front. This I got for $2 from the Salvation Army. And I think it's really good quality bag for $2. The straps have only broken once, so I just re-stitched them on as best as I could, which is not very good. But, yeah, it's still really good, and I can fit lots of stuff in here, surprisingly. And I just reckon it's really cute, and feels cool. My last bag is actually my school bag. And it was just a plain old bag from Kmart. For ten dollars, which I just ironed on some patches. So here we have Misfits, the Sex Pistols, and Green Day. And I did have an all-time low one up the top, but it fell off and I lost it. And I added some badges, so the pizza badge here, and the You Can't Sit With Us badge. Yeah, so I like this bag. It's very big though, and I can fit all my stuff in there, but it looks weird because everything just sits down the bottom and then there's like nothing up the top because it's so big because uh, I don't have a laptop for school anymore I've only got an iPad and so yeah just an iPad sitting in there looks a bit weird but when it's full it looks weird as well but there's not much you can do about that our shoes yes I know every girl's dream shoes <laughs> the first pair are these Converse style shoes um, they are like high like platform kind of high shoe which I got for seven dollars from Sports Girl which is surprising because Sports Girl is so expensive they were down to ten dollars with thirty percent off so then they were down to seven dollars and I wear those all the time they're really comfy you could spend hours in them and not get sore feet which I love and yeah they've got a bit of wear out of them and I've had them for about four months um, they haven't started to break, so that's good. Yeah, they're really stylish and nice, and I love them. I usually wear them to school, but I've recently been told that I'm not allowed to. So, I can't, which makes me sad. The last pair of shoes are these. They're kind of like wedge shoes, but obviously with a bit of a cutout here for the heel. I wore these to my formal. And surprisingly, the heel's not actually that big. The heel's maybe about this big because of the platform here, obviously. These were... They, these were alright to dance in, actually, for the formal. I thought they were going to be difficult, but I actually got through and I enjoyed wearing them. They hurt your feet after a while, but 
you know, all shoes do that, all heel type shoes do that. So really like them. Fifty dollars from Spend Less Shoes. Um, they're very small, like they're size seven, and they're a bit small. But all heels are like that. And oh, there's one more thing that is also my favourites, but I don't have a physical couple of it yet. It's only just come out today, and it's Live Sauce Five Seconds of Summer's live album. Um, there are a couple of songs that I've heard previews to, um, and they are really good. Go and check it out, download it, buy hard copy if you're in Australia, go and do that. It would mean so much to them, and it's... Go and watch the I like, um, What I Like About You video, that is so good, and it proves that they've actually got live talent, it's not just all auto-tune, whatever. But yeah, that's really good, and you should all go check it out. And all of these products, products, favourites that I've showed you that I am currently loving, go and check out as well. Thank you for watching my video. There will be a new video out on Wednesday. Thank you.